Okay. Press it up and down unless you just need to do it. Okay, we could use a little bit more down if, that, if you can ha handle it. I may need to fly back some up uh, to get to the hole, but uh, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll try uh, a left. Okay. Good clearance, Dan. Thanks, Wheels. My interpretation of the first long one we put in is basically as a as a rip stop in case uh, something else happened. But uh, I think these are probably at uh, at functional length. Uh, this number one. Concur. Now four hours and 16 minutes into today's spacewalk, astronaut Scott Parazinski getting ready to install the second cufflink on the solar array panel to help support the loads of the uh, panels as they're fully deployed. Since the uh, hinges have torn on these uh, panels in view here with his helmet camera. You can bring me down and I'll just have to bring the panels down with me. Okay. It's not the end of the world. We have a little bit of food and blood sugar and it's, uh, I would say within 18 inches, I'll uh, hit boops and mast on C4. And uh, enter the wrist joint uh, to the C4 array, about 18 to 24 inches. Discovery, you got to about uh, two foot of clearance from there. Oh, that's too fast. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, 20. Hey, just a big picture here, Pam. We're at a PET of four hours, 17 minutes. We're looking, uh, if we had a seven hour EVA, we have a bingo time about uh, uh, four hours and 50 minutes to get back, heading back. We think we might have a little more time than that, though, but just want you to put that in your uh, hip pocket right now that uh, time is of the essence. All stop, Dan. Okay, stopping motion. Does that an all stop? That's an all. Well, that's a, just a stopping motion. Sorry. <laughs> wrong, wrong terminology. Okay, we understand. So we bought you about that 75 left. Uh, do you need anything else here? Where are our? No. Great. Okay, good clearance, Sam. Uh, a good setup. It's a little more than a foot. Uh, I'd say a foot to 18 inches uh, is the closest point. It's a foot boom. Uh, to the P4 mass. Okay, uh, Scott, you got a little bit of dynamics now. Just be ready on, ready on that coming back at you. And Scott, we concur. We concur with the hole you picked. Okay. Uh, got it in. And Scott, can you just pull the panels from where you are? Yes, I can. That's my plan. Discovery we'll Houston the for EVA. Go ahead. Yeah, we like the plan of just pulling the panels down to them if you can. Okay, and I just want to confirm with you, Houston, that your priority is the order listed, the one, two, three, four. Those are the ones you want, and uh, if, uh, I'm sorry, I take it back, one, two, four, five. And uh, if you lose one, it's okay to lose top five. And that is a correct statement, and you can also uh, delete step 14 at this time. Okay, help me out. Which step 14 in the main troubleshooting procedure? No, that's in uh, block off, but that's the manipulate hinges with the hockey stick to fold in an accordion manner. Oh, right, yeah, we were supposed to do that after the uh, this cuff link install. Right, but since we're doing a deploy, we don't really, don't really need that. Copy. So 
panel's coming your way, Wheels. Copy. But a pretty big uh, flex in the boom there in the OBSS. But there's still good clearance. Much down there up here. Let it damp out. It's a little bit too big. These uh, stuff like uh, sides. There we go. They have a pretty larger, uh, large flex torch you've got if you can. Going back, okay. Hey, in Scott, when things settle down, cufflink number two is on the next stiffener outboard from the one that you just put in. So it's between the two cufflinks that are currently installed. Copy. And uh, I'm sure that doesn't come as a surprise. It'll be the short one. This is really the Scott, Go. Yeah, Pam, we just want to make sure, if possible, that Scott can put a little bend in that wire there to keep it from going more inboard or towards the mast to keep it off the FCC so he can make it kind of bend outboard. outboard. It looks like it's doing it right now to me, so I'm pretty happy with that, but if it's possible. I'm not sure I follow. I think he wants a, a kind of a bend in the uh, wire of the coupling to make sure it stays inboard, I'm sorry, outboard of the FCC. I, I can verify that that's okay. I can do that. Okay, uh, great. At this angle, it looks like it's well off the FCC. Yeah, it kind of keeps it away from the mast and away from the yeah. FCC. And Discovery Houston, we like that. It looks good. Okay, Scott, good, you're Scott. getting kind of close to the panels there, so I think we should call that good and move on to cufflink number two. I concur. Doing a layback, uh, or at least partial layback to get uh, okay. the next one. Um, Dan, why don't you put me... Uh, Body right, if you can, if you need to take the body down, that's fine as well, but uh, definitely right. Happy start, I understand you need body right. Good read. And from Houston, we'd like the down first. And copy Swanee, we'll go down first and then input right. This is Mission Control Houston, now four hours and 24 minutes into today's spacewalk. Astronaut Scott Perzinski has now installed two cufflinks total of the five that are in the uh, toolbox there and is now being adjusted by uh, astronauts uh, Stephanie Wilson and Dan Taney on the end of the orbiter boom sensor system into position for the next uh, installation. Tough like number two spans just over the uh, large damage site and. Visual on uh, the ray right now, so why don't you hold right there? That well, is a shorter length of uh, 36 and 5 eighths inches. Uh, your closest uh, clearance right now, uh, Robo, is about uh, of a wrist cluster to the T4 ray. Looks like just over a foot clearance. Uh, that's your closest uh, approach point right at the moment. Uh, the tip boom to the T4 mast is about 18 inches to 24 inches, so good clear up there, uh, and you're well clear of the, uh, of the width extender. Happy all. Thanks for the report. Okay, so this one starts right below the large damage and goes to the level right above the uh, small damage. That's exactly right. So it's, um, it's uh, the pinholes on um, stiffener two are closer together than the one that you put in for uh, cuff link one and three. Roger. And if you'll Body just uh, do the point, us, we can try to help you with that. Sure can. Great. Right. There. You can see that. The second stiffener. 
Concur. And then right there, right above. Okay, could you point to the second one again? Right up at the level of the, uh, the small. Yeah, I concur. Houston.